Here we are up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. I got a 1971 Challenger. I'm about to do a full walk around on, pull out any kind of flaws that I can find. That way when you get here, you know exactly what you're coming to get. This car here has a, uh, like a 97 model in that error. It's not exactly a 97, but a 360 motor in it. We're gonna go ahead and pop the hood. Let you check that out. Actually, let me look over the hood. I wanna show you some little spider cracks, some light scratches, a little bit too much paint right there, right here in the middle of the scoop. If you can see that, little spider cracks. Looks like you're missing your vent covers that go in here. They're kind of old and brittle. Somebody knocked them all out probably. Um, the hood itself, it lines up pretty good, but it does look a little bent in this area. That can be adjusted or moved back, so I say. You can see light scratches where they're pulling the pins out of these. Uh, the hood actually holds itself shut. It's got a latch in here. So like when I pull that latch, open it up, it works. So if you forget your pins, your, your hood's not gonna fly up into your car. Motor's all detailed out, very cool looking. Uh, chrome accessories under here, power steering. Aluminum heads on this motor as well, which gives it a lot of power. Feels great. You should check out the test drive video if you haven't already. Aluminum radiator, keep her cool. Uh, it's got the fan right behind the radiator and it's also got an electric fan right here. It cuts on with the key. You can turn it off if you want. I'm gonna start up here in the front. The bumper's showing signs of pitting. You can see that little discoloration. Still looks pretty good overall. You have to get really close. Uh, trim rings around the headlight look pretty nice. Grill itself looks pretty nice. Paint job's not too bad. Some of the stick ring on it is uh, bubbling up. If you look down here, you can see some imperfections in the stickers where they touched it up. A lot of the trim still in good shape all the way around the windows. Mirrors in good shape as well. There's a bubble in the paint right here. I'm gonna be looking for any of those. Any of those I see, I'll point out. There's definitely a touch-up mark right there on the door handle. Some scuffs, little chips. Marking the door right there. Tires are in great shape. Set of Boss 338 wheels. Looks like they're staggered. Got a staggered set, which means they're not as deep in the front. And they're wider in the back, so it gives it a good stance. Fuel caps, missing a little bit of the paint. That could be touched up, put back on there. Slight little scratch right there. See a few chips. Exhaust pipes are nice and clean looking. Chrome tips. I just have a magnet on there right now. The back bumper's in better shape than the front. They both look pretty good. Wing looks pretty nice. There's a spider web crack right here in the trunk. And if you look, this looks a little bit lighter than this. Than this. I think they painted the trunk at a separate time. I just noticed that. It's probably because the clouds are out. If I take my sunglasses off, actually, I can't see it. Uh, a little chip in the paint there. A 
couple chips right up behind the bumper. You can see there's been body work right here. You see the little dent. Louvers are in great shape. And there's pins where you can pull them right here. Vinyl top looks pretty good. Not seeing any bubbles popping up under it. It's a common area back here. Look around the rest of it. There's a looks like something's bubbling up right there under the front part. Light scratches on these stripes. That needs to be fixed. Two different links there and the tape's messed up at the bottom. Look at the bottom of these doors. There's been some work done right here in this area. front of this stripe needs to be redone as well a couple scuffs all right as far as the outside there it is hopefully i caught everything i said this motor's been spiffed up pretty good i really like the way that looks everything's so clean um let me see if those work they deleted they took the windshield wipers off we're going to check that when i run on the inside we'll go ahead and look at that let's turn uh ignition on windshield wipers they're not really moving let me play with the switch a little bit so the windshield wipers do not work that's why they get, took them off. On the inside, got a lot of gauges. Go ahead and start her up. Motor sounds nice and strong. The speedometer does work. On the test drive video, I'll go over everything and i show you it working. Um, your tack works as well. Down here, you can check the gauges. We went on a long test drive. It's at 25 on the oil pressure. When I first started it, it was at 60. Um, the temperature's right at 180, 190. The voltmeter's working as well. I believe the gas gauge works because it was floating back and forth as we were driving. Couldn't get the horn to cut on. I noticed that the uh, it's actually unhooked under the hood. One of the, one of the ends is broke. None of the air works, no AC. This is a fuel pump switch. I leave it on to keep it running and this is that other fan switch you can cut it on and off you can leave both of them on they cut off of the ignition check this interior out seats are in good shape the only thing the only thing I've seen was this Just trying to separate there up in the crack it's not bad carpets in great shape dash is signed Mr. Norm Headliner's in great shape as well It's not all beat up Same with the back seat Let's look at that console Looks good. Weather stripping's been replaced on it.
before I end the video, I'm gonna go ahead and open the trunk up. I've got a, uh, I've got a hundred detailed pictures of this car and a million keys. <laughs> so hopefully I get the trunk first. Let's see here. It's definitely one of these because I've had it open before. Hopefully I'll, I don't have to edit this too much trying to get the keys right. <laughs> Let's go circle. I thought it was the uh, same as the ignition. It is circle. All right. The springs in the trunk are not working. Um, I put this pipe in there so that I could check everything out in this video. So if y'all want to hold just a second, I'm going to put it up. All right. The battery's been put in the trunk, relocated. Looks like it's got a setup for the stereo. It's very clean in the trunk. There was a little bit of moisture in here. I let it come out and let this dry earlier. But you could see a little bit of surface rust popping up. Nothing major that I've seen. There was a spot right in here. That was, a, that was the worst in the trunk that I found. I'm gonna pull it all loose anyway. Dropped it down on my head. <laughs> All right. The seal around the trunk is in good shape as well. It's not stuck all the way. That might be why it was leaking. Um, usually up in these corners get a little weak. And they do on that one corner. But the water's probably coming from the back window. All right, guys. Well, if you have any other questions, jump on my website, maplemotors.com. I got 100 detailed pictures of this car underneath, inside and out, including all the cars on the car lot. Um, we update once a week. We got another update coming Monday, so you can check that out. Please subscribe if you haven't. Please share. It really helps me out sharing these videos. And if you want to talk to somebody on the phone, give me a call, 615-822-4444. I really appreciate y'all watching, and thanks again, guys.